Forget about traditional real estate markets like scenic coastlines or bustling cities because the hottest trend is in the metaverse. Investment firms are now splurging millions to buy digital properties. Join us as we explore this exciting shift in the real estate landscape. Welcome to Superstructures. Getting your hands on virtual land in the metaverse today is somewhat akin to purchasing land in New York 250 years ago, shares Andrew Kegel, CEO and co-founder of Tokens.com. Metaverse real estate is quite similar to real-world property, except it exists in a digital 3D space where users can engage in lifelike activities such as shopping, gaming, or attending virtual concerts. In the metaverse, there are houses to explore and shops where you can make purchases. The real estate in this digital world is becoming more available for sale, notes Conrad Putzier, a reporter from the Wall Street Journal. The concept behind investing in digital land is that once you own it, you have the opportunity to earn money by developing virtual properties and leasing them out. We bought it because we want to do something very big there. We want to do something that's immersive and exciting, and in order to do that, you have to have lots and lots of space," explains Janine Yorio, CEO of Republic Realm. Certainly, investing in digital real estate remains a high-risk venture. What then has sparked this surge in virtual land value? And what factors contribute to its perceived worth? The metaverse is a dynamic realm, consisting of various digital worlds where users engage through avatars. Some of these digital spaces have a cartoonish aesthetic, while others strive to replicate the real world virtually. Andrew Kegel, CEO and co-founder of Tokens.com, a firm focused on cryptocurrency and metaverse real estate acquisitions, sheds light on this evolving landscape. In the metaverse, the landscape resembles a monopoly board, where you have different land parcels, and the goal is to acquire as many of these parcels as possible. Investors can only trade real estate on a handful of platforms, each associated with its distinct cryptocurrencies. These platforms offer a finite number of parcels for purchase, and the ownership and transactions are recorded using blockchain technology. In a notable transaction in November, Republic Realm, a company specializing in metaverse real estate, disclosed a landmark deal, spending $4.3 million to acquire land in the sandbox marking the most significant digital property sale revealed thus far. The whole reason why it is a store of value is that, at the outset, each metaverse platform declares exactly how many parcels there will be. So they would be cannibalizing the value of their own holdings if they continued to mint more and more of it. So that tenant of scarcity is what gives the category value. Janine Yorio, CEO, Republic Realm. Similar to the physical world, the location plays a crucial role in the value of digital land. In bustling or high-traffic areas, such as downtown regions, the available land parcels tend to be more valuable compared to those in quieter suburbs. Once you acquire a land parcel, you can leverage programming tools to craft a variety of creations, whether it's an amusement park, a casino, or even a museum. The possibilities are virtually limitless. Investors are placing their bets on the belief that individuals and businesses will invest in virtual developments such as homes and retail spaces. The anticipation is that as more people join these online worlds, the value of these properties will escalate over time. If you construct a mansion, there's a chance of selling it to someone affluent willing to invest thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars in a metaverse mansion. Similarly, building a mall or an office tower opens the possibility of leasing out spaces to companies, allowing you to collect rents from these tenants. Tokens.com has revealed a noteworthy transaction, stating that it spent $2.5 million on appealing land within Decentraland's fashion district, launched in 2017. The long-term vision is that we want to turn that property that we've purchased there into the Rodeo Drive or the Fifth Avenue of the Metaverse. Our goal is to be the dominant and leading metaverse landlord. Andrew Kegel, CEO and co-founder, Tokens.com In the metaverse, companies hire architects to design virtual homes or malls, and game developers to bring those designs to life. Zoning rules exist, restricting what and where companies can build within the metaverse. However, unlike the real world, buildings in the metaverse have the freedom to defy the laws of physics. In the development cycle, there's a phase that closely resembles real-world real estate development. It starts with hiring an architect, creating a mood board, and gathering inspiration from other spaces and designs. Once the initial concept is established, the process transitions into video game development, 
The project then moves on to 3D renderers and 3D developers who transform the design into an interactive experience. Republic Realm has undertaken diverse developments in the metaverse, including a virtual mall leased to retailers specializing in avatar fashion. Additionally, they've created a master plan community featuring approximately 100 villas on private islands, available for sale to individual users. So in some ways, these immersive e-commerce environments that we're building are really 3D equivalents of marketplaces like Amazon, like Etsy, where multiple different sellers and retail products or experiences can be in one place but not have to build all the tech themselves. Janine Yorio, CEO, Republic Realm. Metaverse real estate offers an additional allure with advertising and brand partnerships. Investors foresee a future where digital property owners can collaborate with brands seeking a presence in these expanding digital realms. This potential for partnerships opens up new avenues for monetization and interaction within the metaverse. Indeed, it's not merely an opportunity to extend their brand. It's a means to introduce their brand to an entirely new demographic. A generation of young gamers, crypto enthusiasts, and individuals engaged in similar trends and technologies. This crossover into the metaverse represents a unique avenue for brands to connect with a diverse and tech-savvy audience. Certainly, investing in digital properties remains a venture with significant risks and speculation. Unlike the real world, the value of virtual properties may plummet if the digital world they inhabit loses popularity and user visits decline. Additionally, the volatility of cryptocurrencies can have a substantial impact on property prices adding an extra layer of uncertainty to these investments. Investors should exercise caution and be mindful of the unique challenges associated with the dynamic nature of the metaverse market. To mitigate this risk, investors are diversifying by purchasing land in various virtual worlds. Republic Realm, for instance, has adopted this strategy and claims ownership of over 3,000 plots of digital land spread across 24 different virtual worlds. This approach allows investors to spread their exposure and minimize the impact of potential downturns in any single virtual environment. The substantial wealth accumulated by those who invested in cryptocurrencies 5 or 10 years ago has captured the attention of many. People are seeking alternative avenues to replicate that impressive growth. This attraction is driving interest in various blockchain-based investments, with metaverse real estate being particularly appealing to individuals looking for potential exponential growth much like what was witnessed in the early days of cryptocurrency investments. The fascination with the metaverse and its properties gained momentum as people increasingly spent more time online during the pandemic. This interest received a significant boost when Mark Zuckerberg announced the rebranding of Facebook to Meta Platforms Inc., signaling the company's intensified commitment to building online worlds within the metaverse. The announcement further propelled the mainstream awareness and enthusiasm surrounding metaverse-related investments and developments. According to Grayscale, a digital currency investor, the global market for goods and services within the metaverse is expected to reach a substantial value of $1 trillion in the near future. The next generation of tech users, which is precisely why Mark Zuckerberg rebranded his company, is expected to demand a 3D and immersive experience from technology. Unlike their parents' 2D experiences focused on scrolling through social media or e-commerce, the upcoming generation will seek interaction in what is now referred to as the metaverse. This virtual space provides an environment where they can connect with friends in a manner that feels more human and normal, aligning with their evolving expectations for digital engagement. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of luxury and innovation in the metaverse. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more Superstructures content. Until next time, happy exploring!